Hello everyone. Today let's introduce our small magnet driving electronic notes for you. You can see from the table there are four different small magnet driving electronic notes in our products. Let's see the two locks first. The two locks have small size. Both of them without push rod to help push the door open, so the thrust of the two locks are smaller than the two. Then you can see here is an emergency lever, so it can help push the door open. This push rod is longer than this one, so the thrust of this one is also bigger than this one. The material of this kind of locks is 430 stainless steel, and the emergency lever, the lock tongue is made of zinc alloy, so the oxidation resistance is much higher, and this kind of locks won't be rust easily. The four different locks can match six different lock hooks. Our hook E and the hook Hook E and hook A are higher than other three. You can see we can close the lock. Then usually when power on, the lock will open. If the power off, we can use this emergency lever to open the lock. The three electronic locks on the table are our waterproof electronic lock servers. This lock is driven by magnets. The two locks are driven by motor. Motor locks are more stable and have lower power consumption than magnet locks. You can see here is a black waterproof box. It is used to protect the internal switch and the magnet from the water. The two locks also have a black waterproof box here. It is used to protect the internal switch and motor. The main difference of the two locks is the motor type. You can see here. This motor is metal motor. This is made of plastic. So the working life of this motor is higher than this one. The three locks have two hook models available because the height of the hook is higher than other three hooks. You can see here is an emergency lever. When power off, it can use two emergency unlocking. Besides the three water locks, we also have other models. The main difference is the material. The two locks are made of plastic, so the cost is lower than the three because they are made of stainless steel. They are made of plastic. They are very similar models. Then let's talk about this one. It is the strongest list in our products. Also, the function is also more than other locks because there is a single cable in this lock, so it can be locked or unlocked while single. It, because motor locks can energize for a long time, so this kind of locks can be powered for a long time. Also, the lock tongue and the emergency lever is made of zinc alloy. So the locks has higher oxidation resistance than other similar locks. Besides these waterproof locks, you can see here, the two new design products are also motor locks. This lock has lock hook detection function. Half are made of 340 stainless steel, then this part made of plastic. The material of the two locks is the same. The main difference is this lock has door magnet detection function. Because the hook of the two locks is different. 
you can say here is a magnet here. So when we close the lock, here can detect the door magnets. So it has higher detection accuracy than other locks. So this lock is also more safe than other locks. The three locks use different lock hooks. Here is A model. Then we also have this B model. You can see this hook is also stronger than this one. Then we have other special lock. You can see here. This one is bigger than other locks. This lock can achieve the automatic locking function because it can this lock can close the door automatically. The design is also different. Here is a roller switch here. Because these kinds of locks are central controlled by the control board. So when the control board to control different electronic locks, you can see here is our basic lock control board. We call it CU. There are different ports on the CU board. This port and these ports are for lock control. Then the two ports are for infrared sensor to detect whether the lock is occupied or empty. The two ports are for LED lights. You can see here is a adapter connectors here. We need to use an X cable here. We can connect the node connectors via this cable. One port connect with lock. Then a last port can connect with this CU board. Our control system made of two protocols, TCPIP and RS485. For TCPIP protocol, we will use billboard to connect CU board and router. We will use LED cable, one port connect with CU board, then another port connect with CU input board. Then here, BU input port board with will connect with the router. This port will connect with the router. It is our TCP/IP protocol. Also, some customers will use RS four eight five protocol. They will use this one. It is a RS485 adapter. We can use this port connect with CU board. Here is our S485 port. Then this USB connector can connect with PC directly. This CU board can control 16 locks and 16 pairs in the sensor. If customers want to control more locks, they can choose this board. This board can control 48 locks, but without infrared sensor function. This one can control 16 locks. This can control 48 locks. If customers want to control single lock, they can choose this SCU board. This board can control one lock. It can connect max 100 pieces in series. Then, as we told just now, the two ports are for infrared sensor. Here is our infrared sensor. 
you can see this one is emission port. This is receiver port. Receiver port will feed back signal to CU board. Then it can be detected the local status. The board is powered by this power supply. Here is power port, the green one and the, black, the white one. 414 control system, we can connect max 10 board in series because the address code is from 0 to line, total 10 number. Each board there will be a plastic shell here. It can protect the board to be leak leakage. Here is also plastic here to protect the board. This one. Then let's show the connecting for you. We can operate all the connectings and the influence sensor data. Let's show you the actual connecting of our electronic lock system. You can see here are our CU board, RS485 adapter, power supply, electronic locks, lock hooks, LED cable, and influence sensor. Then we will install all these parts in the actual locker. Our engineer will show you the actual installation and our demo software for you. Then we will install the installation screws our notebook for you. One hook has two screws, so we will need those. We install most cables and electronic logs for you. Then we just show you two examples how to install the electronic logs and the log cables. Then we will install the control board for you to show how to operate the demo software. For this simple locker without the installation port, so we just show you how it works.
We just connect our CU board with connecting cables and infrared sensor. You can see this all connect with looks. Then here is infrared sensor emission cable, here is receiver cable. Receiver port will feedback signal to our software. Then let's show you connecting with the CU board. We use the LED cable connect the CU output port to this input port. There are max 10 CU board can connect in series. Here is our RS485 adapter. You can see this port will connect with Then this USB port will connect with PC directly. Then we need to use this power supply to power for the control board. Usually one power supply can support three to four control board. Then the voltage of power supply depends on the electronic lock voltage. Then we power it. We will already connect all the parts, then we will use our demo software to show you how to open the locks. You can see, we just connect our USB adapter to the PC. Here is USB series port common 3. Then we open our demo software. Here series port should be same as the PC. It is 3. Then we connect. You can see here can show the local status. When we connect the demo software, we can open any local. The first, the second, the third, the fourth. Then when local is open, there is infrared sensor here. You can see there are three lights can lighten the local when the low Locker is open. When we put one box in, we can see the local status in our demo software. Okay, let's open and close the door. We just showed how to use our demo software to open the lockers. All the locks will be powered by the power supply. But if when we power off, how we open these lockers. Then we need to make a special design here. We will connect all the emergency level of electronic lock, lock to this. Okay. When, when we open this lever, more lockers will be open. We just show you how to open more lockers at the same time. Then our customers also installed single lock in the locker, like refrigerators, we need to use, to use our laser divers to open the lock. You can see here, we use a cable connect with the lock, and use the cable to open the lock when power off. Let's do it again. We just show you our electronic lock system used for express locker. Besides express locker, this kind of locks can also be used for storage locker in markets, in sauna, in swim pool, as well as the windy machine, refrigerators, and other special equipments.